So, in preparation. So, uh, oh, in God, preparation. Echo, so, uh, oh, okay. in God, preparation. Oh, so, wait, wait, oh, rewind. Okay. rewind. So, in preparation for the newest. Uh, since the announcement of Wolf Among Us 2, we're gonna play Wolf Among Us 1, which I haven't actually played. I played The Walking Dead and I think uh, Borderlands Telltale. I've never played Wolf Among Us. Let's play this shit. I think this is one of the first Telltale games, no? I don't know where to put my cam. Once upon a time, in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. Fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from the homelands. Through the use of magic spells called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from their mon from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Okay, I know there is fairy tales. I remember that. It was like based off fairy tale characters. It's like a crime drama. Look at the art style already. Right? Look at the art style with a heavy saturation and all that. You can barely even see him. I heard a lot of good things about this game. I don't know if my camera's in the right spot. My camera's too big, I feel like it's too big. Hold up. Just before you light that cigarette, buddy. Sure, big speed. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Oh, glamour is like a physical thing. No need to kick up a fuss. Enough excuses, Toad. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as oh. that. Oh, you can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? The mafia. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. Didn't I say. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. So, what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Okay. I okay. Didn't know there anyone we go. else was up there. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? 
You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! I really like the concept of this whole, this whole game. This... You're gonna oh shit! Know who I fucking am, you you hear want to me? Hey, look at me! Yes. Yeah, cool. Let go. Look at the matchbook on the floor and use the hand icon to pick it up. Oh, I didn't even see the matchbook Take on the floor. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Okay. It's probably locked. We gotta kick this door. Oh. God damn you! No oh. Whoa, 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 hey! Okay, hey. buddy. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? Oh. I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! Alright, what's going on? Here? Oh, you son of a bitch. Who's this what guy? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. Woody. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Wait, what happened? Who is this guy? <laughs> oh shit! I pressed ALT! I pressed- Okay, that's not fair. I was playing one hand. Oh, that is gonna watch me kill you. Grab the bottle. Hit him. Boom. Ooh, okay. Okay. Get knee in the face, buddy. Headbutt. Uh, let's go with the cupboards. Yeah, that's fair. Oh fuck! I got him the lampshade. Boom. Boom! Yeah, stick a seat over there. Had enough? Oh, fuck. I'm not trying to kill this guy. This a fucking challenge. Uh. Mm. Throat punch. Okay. Don't to the bed. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Boom, you had enough? Oh shit! Would I have died if I missed that? Oh, that's Norse mythology! The sign over there? Did I kill him? I didn't kill him, did I? Hit him with a... You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> shit. Okay, who do I know this person? Okay, what, what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Who the hell is she, Snow White? Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. You All need right. to leave. You need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Oh, she's a hooker. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? 
She's he asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. The woodsman. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this oh. monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! Oh, what? Is that his car? <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his car. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. How's your Make insurance? yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Ah, fucking hell. Oh, we still going, huh? Yeah, that's right, buddy. That's right. Oh, he bit my tongue. Fuck you. Oh, he's trying to... Oh. He's trying to get the dog out. So I'm a werewolf. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I killed him. Is that Red Riding Hood? Is she Red Riding Hood? Who is she? No, there's no way he's Red Riding Hood. The wolf would know. Holy shit, he's alive, dude. Oh, he's probably taking the money. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? Green eyes. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. <laughs> the guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> okay, stop He's it, had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Oh, so she's not a fable. Oh, I thought everyone was a fable. Never mind. Light her cigarette. I got it. I'm here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? I might need that much. Sorry. Oh, where's a pimp? Hey, you like my ribbon? Oh, I know who she is. If you don't answer my questions, oh I can't shit, help. I know who she is. I'm answering them the best that I can. I know her fairy tale. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point. Well, she is another. a fable. 
but things change, I guess. I guess. What the fuck is this GoPro doing? Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Wait, what? Fuck. This is fake. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Wait. I'll be fine. I have money? I'm not gonna give her money. I, I don't think I he would do I that. Help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm-hmm. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I like the big bad wolf. I'll see you around, wolf. Mm, that's a good introduction of her. Whoever the hell she is. I have an idea of who she is. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, it has something to do with that ribbon on her neck. That was just the prologue. Damn, this game is heavy on the blacks. As in, like, saturation. Take it easy, guys. Is a good spot. Okay, I have my money there. Okay, what is that? Take a look the woodland. Oh, this is my apartment. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Guess we're going in. Bill Willingham. Is this a is there a book about this? I would gladly read it. Stay off the grass. Okay, what does he say? Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Snow? Okay, what's here on the right? Is there an Easter egg? Okay, I can't go on the right. Okay, who is that? Stay off the grass. There's no walking on the grass. Snow White's orders. She made a sign and everything. Snow White? I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Oh, is that Beauty and the Beast? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. 
I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. She sounds like Clementine. Damn it, I'm late. The voice actress sounds like Clementine. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. That's Clementine. Too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. That's Clementine. That's I'll definitely you Clementine. All later. I will, but I have to go. Oh, I want to search that up real quick. It's not what you might be thinking. I can't. I can't see that voice anywhere else. I can't see. That doesn't match. Hold up. I need. I need to fact check this. I need to fact check this. Wolf Among Us. Beauty voice. Melissa Hutchison. That's Walking Dead. Right here. Right here. Clementine. I knew it sounded familiar. Alright, now that that's out of the way. So that's where she got her role. I'm pretty sure she... I don't know if Wolf Among Us came before Walking Dead. I think it did. Maybe that's how their little relationship formed or something. Between Telltale and Melissa Hutchison. Okay, let's see what the guy's reading. Oh. Pendants. My catch needs to dust this guy. Wait, I can pick up his thing? Oh. Okay, let's go to the mail. Been a while since I got any mail. <laughs> what was my number? Seventh day in a row. Two oh five. Uh, Big Speed, Mister and Mrs. Beast. Wait, I want to see all the names. Storage, Rimble, Warner, Beard, K. Cole, Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and then there's S. White for Snow White. I don't know the rest. Yeah, let's wake this guy up. This guy needs to do his job. I feel like Bigsby would do that. Hey, you wink. Motherfucker. Mm. Probably for the best. Oh, okay. I guess you can't even wake him up. Okay, let's go up. Go up to my floor. Is there more I could do here? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, who is this guy? That's Maybe. Beast. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I don't know. I'm not... I'm staying out of this. So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to play as I how I think he would. I feel like he would avoid the answer. Beast looks just like similar to Big B. I guess it's because they could both transform into beasts. They all have like this mane of hair. Time is this? Like era. <sighs> what a night. 
Oh yeah, this the same night you got beat up. Get some food. Nice little ice tray. Eat some ice. Damn it. <laughs> Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Huff and puff. Probably a bad sign. So messy. So a messy guy. I'm pretty messy Blue too, I'm not gonna fly. lie. Never trusted this guy. Okay, can't do that. Can't open any of these doors. There this is works. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Should help. It's fucking big. Who is this? <sighs> oh, not again. Hey, Colin. Get up. Wake the fuck up, Colin. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? There's only one. I got the one. So, yeah. Who the hell is he? Got a smoke? Here, buddy. Fucking smoking. Pit. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. Oh! You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The house. Fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the Big Bad Wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Hmm. Take a sip. Take a sip. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. The Niccolo Machiavelli. Hating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. <clears throat> they fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. Hey, I didn't mean to say that. What the fuck? <laughs> you think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? 
I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Ooh. I don't even know her name. There was a girl. I don't actually know her name. Of course awesome. you don't. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Really? Look. I'll... If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. So you can't drink? Probably. See, I That's guess he doesn't have enough glamour. Turn back into human. So he's one of the three pigs where the, the house blew down. Who the wolf uh, blew his house down. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this whole concept. Ah, fuck. It's probably beast. I guess I, I feel I'm gonna eventually get involved with this shit, probably. Oh, it's snow. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Ooh. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Ooh. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. Who the heck is this guy? <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Oh, do the rest of them don't know that they're fables? So, does she own this place? Oh, fuck, a fable died? Did a fable die? What is that? Security. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? What the hell does that mean? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She's a working girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working girl. Oh come on, Snow. Oh. I the woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... I came to get you right away. I think no one else was with you. Her body's still alive. 
No. If her fable is true. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. There's this tale of a girl. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be through here. Who has string around her neck to hide the the scar of her severed head? Because I think that's her. Like her body still walks around. I don't exactly she remember. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see she placed it herself. Just toss her here. She was deliberately Maybe. placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What is. It's her ribbon. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Is she actually dead. It was a horror story. I don't know if it was a horror story or a scary story. I'm sorry. When I was told as a kid of a girl. So surreal. Ribbon on her neck. <sighs> um, what what do you want to do next? I'm gonna investigate it more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Okay, uh what the Okay, we already know what she sees. Hey, don't so talk to her. Yes, thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Okay, whatever. So I go this way. Is there anything here? Just a dead end. Literally a dead end. Why is this in the game then? Oh my god, walking in this game is so odd. The controls are very off. Oh, I thought that shadow was something. I thought our shadow was something. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. I can examine the trash can, trash can again? Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Is that all they have? Okay, back inside. Where are you going? Are we done? Okay, I forgot to see the fence. The the front uh, door. No, not yet. Okay, I'll see this way. Okay. Okay, guess not. There's nothing. Dope. Okay, here. Here's fabric. Do you know anything about the fabric? I'm just checking what her out. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just... Hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. 
We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Pigpy, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As Crane. long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. King Cole. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Dr. Swinehart. I'll meet Swinehart. you at the business office. Who are these guys? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away oh. is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around. I'm really trying this to play the disaster. neutral game over It isn't him. anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Yes. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, I mean, that's this all we is have. just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. But where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What an what a do prick. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Mm, I think sounds. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Yeah. I wasn't going to say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Smoke. I will Never smoke. Mind. Smoke away. What's the wine about? To a massage? Probably a gift. 
The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Oh, yes, monkey. thankfully. Oh my god, flying monkey. Is that from the Wizard of Oz? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Yeah, she has no pupils, man. It looks scary. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Get talk to the magic mirror. And there's a lamp. Dude. This is... This should be a movie. But then I'm pretty sure it'll be like copywritten. Okay, what is this? Is this... Is that the desk or is that the snow? Tarot okay. cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's grab them. Fuck it. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Of course. Of course. Yes, I mean... Oh, let's see all the cards then. The tower. That. Well, that's not what I have here. Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Backstab? Is it foreshadowing? Oh, I took it. I'll be sure to let him know. Okay. Yes. What is he gonna say about the lamp? Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. I'm gonna rub it. I'm gonna rub it. Worth a try. <laughs> okay, let's go to the mirror. Wait, what am I gonna say about the mirror? Oh wow, there's an actual reflection. Wow. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Mirror, Your mirror on the wall. Callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh... The woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Oh, I can just there is see him. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. All right, Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> don't I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new.
Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Where they go? Okay. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. This is a nice picture. Okay. This is me. Hmm. Me. And this is. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And this is her. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Okay, and then this Red Riding Hood. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh, because I killed her. I think. Beauty and happier days. This is Beast. And her man, Beast. Funny. Then, oh, the three pigs. Colin and his brothers. And then who is this? King Cole. I've seen this before. Oh, the sigil. This symbol on the man's clothes—it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I want to see more. Who's here? Oh, there's a toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He Ooh. likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. And there's the Headless Horseman and... Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Okay, let's go back, get some symbols, then ask the mirror if we do find her. Add Patrius. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bufkin, <laughs> translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Okay, then there is... The dress. Oh, there's the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? <laughs> Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Oh, that's why it's called... Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Oh, that's why it's called Faith. This the story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Ew. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. What does that mean? Oh. Wait. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Cinderella's deceased? 
We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name we... name was Faith. Yeah. Can I ask the mirror? But you should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Okay, can I can I ask the mirror about donkey skin? Yeah, I want to actually see more about this book. If I can. Oh, that's it. Cool. Wow, great. Thank you. Uh, I could, I could see my, I could interact with this again. That was finished. Oh, nice. Okay. I can use my tarot card with this. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Wait, I have a question to ask you. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Donkey skin. Show me Faith's father, the old king. It. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has mm. to be. Her body is still... Running around somewhere. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh fuck, he's dead. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry. Oh, music stopped. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Tom. Oh, shit. You there? What do you want? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big, big, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Uh-oh. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm gonna hold it off because I gotta go to uh, Secret Santa. And we're done. Thank you for watching for anyone who's watching or anybody who will be watching. I'm gone. Peace for now. See you later.